Yo, what's up? My name's Retro Pat, and I absolutely adore card games and deck builders. And Inscription is a unique and strange one. It's not really like anything I've ever played. It has some of the mechanics from other card games like Magic the Gathering. We see flying creatures, we see reach, we see the sacrifice sort of mechanics of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, there's a lot of different elements sort of combined. We also see power-ups and sort of side items from things like Slay the Spire and potions and such. So. It's, it's a really, really unique game that takes a lot of the elements of other card games and, and, you know, adds on to them and combines them, especially into this weird, creepy PS1 pixelation horror style game, which is just, that's really what the selling point of Inscription, in my opinion, is the overarching story and this horror element they have going on is insane. Uh, and I don't usually, I don't usually want to play horror games for very long, but goddamn, Inscription I want to keep playing. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You can gain a bone when you just perishes for any reason. Okay, that's kind of cool. So it's almost like a. Uh, I haven't gotten this far, so I'm I'm still learning more about the basic rules of the game. That's crazy. What is this up here? A rattler. It's a three-one. If we can get something to kill that, that's definitely ideal. Um, but I keep forgetting. I can't. You can't move up. Actually, I'm gonna actually gonna place this to the side then. I think because otherwise he'll move up a step. And uh, I don't understand. I think you. I think the enemy can move up. You gain one bone. Okay, it's like it's almost like a secondary resource. You will not lose this until it's spent. That's really, really, really cool. That's a really interesting second resource. If I really wanted to, I could actually pop my squirrel now. I think saving these for the boss fight. Is probably ideal. Like I'm just gonna go ahead and let this let this turn play through. As long as I don't die, as long as I don't literally lose, I should always just keep all this stuff right for the upcoming stuff. So what I want to do here is, um, this is kind of awkward. I think I go squirrel, and I do end up sacrificing the stoat here. Use the wolf and the stoat sacrifice again. Yeah, this guy's mad at me from the previous playthrough. How crazy is that? And then I can also play the opossum on top of it. Um, what a re resourceful card. That actually is super, super sick. I and mean, they called it that, right? Uh, and from here, I would just go into combat, take care of the rattler, do one damage. And now I should have better board control and slowly be able to take him down. But he placed another 3 1 there. Um, I'm going to draw a card from my deck because there's not really much else I could do. I could go ahead and sacrifice the opossum for the bullfrog if I wanted to. I think if that's worth it here. It's almost better, in my opinion, to just go ahead and go through combat. It's going to take me out there. That's fine. Now I can draw a squirrel. Place the squirrel here. Sacrifice the squirrel for the bullfrog. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and do this play. Make him attack. I don't know how much board control or aggro is rewarded in this game. I still can't. I haven't really found. Like, usually in most card games, developing board control is better than um than playing for aggro or playing for some other play style. But um, I don't know. It feels like aggro might actually... Your HP is so low. Your total HP. Look at the, look at the stutter on the mouse and how that adds like a horror element. To see, that's actually crazy. What a detail, you know? To see the mouse stutter along like that, adding that extra horror. Um, not something you would, it's pretty easy to miss. It almost feels, yeah, laggy. Oh, but in a good way. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Dude, why is every playthrough so goddamn weird? It's behind the safe and different. Behind the safe. This mine? What is it? Place it back down? Okay. Mantis squirrel. I haven't seen this. The mantis. That attacked both slots, I bet. But that's what that means. Now, I don't know the, the combination for this safe. I bet that I could look online for it, obviously. But that would be turbo cringe cheating. However, I'm going to go ahead and try one, two, three. <laughs> you got to try one, two, three, okay? And then how does that... It didn't work. Okay, that's my that's my honest attempt. Head back over. Let us continue. All right, get to pick rattler three one four oh for six bones. Like this, so this whole playthrough is like entirely different. Now we're gonna utilize this new mechanic that they they've taught me, the bones mana mechanic. This looks like his death touch. I think I go for the rattler. The rattler. Uh, coyote could be good as well. Six is a lot to reach. Uh, coyote might even out my curve a little more, which is kind of nice. But it, I think this depends on how hard I want to go into this stat. 
I want to go for board control. Honestly, death touch. Like, death touch is much better in this game because your death touch creature doesn't die upon the attack. So I'm going to go for that. I have to learn the, the specific mechanics do change a lot of like normal rules that I know and I'm having a hard time. Slay the Spire was a game that I picked up so ridiculously fast. Um, but I feel like I'm having a little of a harder time this time. This is the one where like I do a little more damage. I don't know what this, I don't know if I understand this one. Look at like sweeps. I don't know what to grab here. I almost want to go boulder even though I hate. I feel like it's better out of these three. I don't really love those. I don't love the terrain. The terrain aspect is kind of annoying to me. I hate that it takes up card slots. I don't want that you only have four card slots in this game. Father teaching you about bones. All right, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Okay, wait. <gasps> passcode in the rule book. Oh, is that the same? Okay, easy peasy. 273 is the safe code. Is that going to change between playthroughs? Thank you for telling me, Mr. Wow, this guy gives us actual information and resources like that as well. Let's go ahead and play the squirrel. Oh, I shouldn't have played it there. I wasn't really paying attention. Why is there a spider on the on the board? Hey, fuck out of here, dude. Sparrow, spar double sparrow flying. Um, I think I just go ahead and play the stoat then. I think it's worth it. I guess here is fine. To eventually be able to total misplay. Okay, chill, bro. I think that was a good play. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm happy with that. Go forward. Do one damage. I'll eventually kill the sparrow here in a sec. It's all fine. Good and dandy. Uh, let's grab a squirrel for sure here. That kind of might have been dumb. That kind of might have been dumb. I mean, no, no, no. This is fine. Is it? <laughs> oh, no. Um... So what I do here is I place the squirrel. I use, I do, I do do this to make the wolf play. He's gonna kill this, and then I can play the opossum with the coins, which can't kill. This the one one. That was kind of not good. That was kind of bad. It does take permanent damage though, and the fly. I don't care if I'm low HP. I just draw this cockroach four bones. We just draw combat here. There's so limited resources. It's crazy. Just go combat. I could have played the squirrel there. There's no reason not to, I guess. But you can just save up. I think you just play like unlimited like cards per turn anyway. So I don't know if there's a reason to like super not save up there. Here we go next. Get a little card added to the deck. The goat. I really like the goat card. Um, turkey vulture. Three, three flyer, but it costs eight. Oh, it's me. It's my card. And this has the sacrifice thing. This is just so late. Ah, uh, it's just not a good card. I don't know which is- I think this is better. I think the black goat is much better. I think the card's really, really good. Uh, do I want to combine something? How do I check my altered deck? I don't know what this means, this paper. I'm gonna try this so that I can kind of skate- I just don't understand this mechanic. I don't understand what cards are available to put here. So it's the ones that have the sigils. Maybe I do do this then. This, I don't need to take this ability. Um, Bullfrog has the reach thing. It's not that good. Death touch. None of these are that good. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm kind of safe coming, but... It's because I don't understand what cards are in my deck. And I don't know if I'm supposed to remember for sure or not. I'm gonna go to this one then. Get more resources. Or can I grab anything? Ah, okay. Well, I fucked... That's fine. That's fine. Oh, I can still get something? Oh, what's this guy? Oh, I got a card. Pack rat? Cool, because I have too many items, it gives me a pack rat. That's pretty neat. You know what? Good little flavor. Does your back ache? The game can be lengthy. Stand if you wish. Does that mean that I can... I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. Oh, I had no idea. It allows you to plan your next encounter, but do keep your hands off my possessions. Well, I want to do the safe, bro. 273. Is he going to get mad at me? He's for sure going to get mad at me. Will this be an insta loss? If I do this? I don't care, dude. It's worth it. Stink bug. Free a stink bug? How many people have that achievement? 90%? Dude, people who play this game are crazy. 94% got their first death card. That's really impressive. That iron crypt. Is the stowed around? 
does he beef with the stoat? Put that away. And the key. I'm gonna pull out. He's gonna be mad at me. Oh, and that can go over here? Okay, I'm fucking with his stuff. He told me not to. Simply don't care. What is all this? What the fuck does that mean? Is that like a... What? Oh, is this like mini... A mini game? Hmm. Is it like a... Uh... Oh, it's kind of like um... Is it Wordle? Is that what I'm thinking of? So this goes here? Okay. I don't know if I'm getting punished for this. Three are in correct spots there. What the hell? Okay, we're close. Okay. I don't know what... Skink? I forgot to put that there at your deck. I'll deal you every so often. Okay, we're getting extra cards. I feel like this might be one of the only ways to win is to like, like go take the extra effort to like get these cards like this because it's just so hard otherwise. Some of the battles feel super, super unfair. I don't fully understand this, but. Oh, that's blocked. This can't move. Oh, that dropped four? What the hell? Oh, we're so close. Now we're not at all. I do not understand what the path, like how to solve this. I'm kind of just free balling it. There we go. Outskilled worker ants and queen. Does our ants work well together? Make them available for future challenges. Thank you. Thank this guy's kind of nice. Okay, we got more puzzles to solve. I have no idea how these work though. I feel like that's enough puzzles for now. Should I just kind of call it and go back to actually playing the game? You know what? I like the idea of doing it in, in good chunks, okay? We'll come back to this. It might be better to just go ahead and focus on all of this and actually get it done. But uh, you know what? I think it's more fun to pace myself with this. Bro, chill. With, the, with this with this, uh, with this this game. This thing here, I can't grab. Oh, I put out the light. Was that bad? Am I going to get in trouble for that? Uh-oh. Oh, whoa. Mighty leave. Okay, that's the rule book. Okay, let's play. Let's play cards, my friend. It's a fight. Alrighty, Squirrel, Stinkbug, you again. These guys beef. Our friend freed me. Told them how to do it. Oh, they actually don't beef. They're nice. Got a plan. Oh, okay. They were together. We have another friend here. Got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. They do beef with someone. Suppose we are in deep this time. Ant Queen. Oh, how does this card operate? Um, whenever when a card beating this sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. When a when a card bearing this sigil is played, ant spawner. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, uh, play squirrel. We have squirrel and boulder over here. What are we against? One, two, sparrow. Play this. We sacrifice this for the stoat. Get a coin. Fine. He mad. Sure. Cool. Uh, I think from here we just chill, go combat, do one damage, see what he got going on. Coyote, double sparrow, that's fine. I take some damage, not a big deal. Um, do I grab a squirrel here? I just have no power, it's just 3 HP. This thing's going to be tough to super manage. I have to draw a card, I think, here, unfortunately. It's like super awkward. I think I have to crack a squirrel here as well. Crack my squirrel thing. I think I need to here. I think it's super important. We're not even going to be able to kill that, which sucks. Uh, I place squirrel here. Sacrifice it for bullfrog. Place it here with reach. Uh, use the leftover coins to make stink bug. What's the stink do? The uh, creature opposing a card bearing that still loses one power. That's perfect. I can put that there. I think this is good. Combat, do some damage, whittle these guys down a little. Yeah, this thing loses one, that's so good. It's actually super relevant. Um, do I have a grab a squirrel here? 
I guess I can go. The Antwi not having power really bothers me. We're gonna kill everything here. I just grab a card like this, weirdly enough. Uh, and I think I just, I just go combat. Combat, kill everything, white board, gain board control. Oh, my turn infinitely now? Okay, cool. We'll draw another card. Let's see where this is going, I concede. Okay, that's cool that the, okay. You may finish this match slowly. Does it matter which one I pick? I accept his concede. I might as well. I mean, that's that's cool that they actually the AI the AI is able to acknowledge that. It's super interesting. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Like the mask to be the different people. Care to look at my pelts? See what you got, dude. Wolf pelt, rabbit pelt. Take a pelt free of charge. See the quality? What do these represent? What do these cards do? You leaving already? These consider my pelts. I'm trying to figure out what these cards do, dude. Oh, n the value of the pelts. I was trying to see what they do, dude. Okay, oopsies. Didn't think that would leave, but what are you gonna do? We could go in the middle section here to the campfire. What is over here? I can't even tell. I didn't mean to do that. Oops, wait, no, 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 I want to back on the map, okay. Campfire or bag. I did use a squirrel in the previous fight, right? So I can actually go pick up another item out of the bag. Is it worth to pick up? Do you get like infinite items? I don't know the squirrel. The squirrels there seems really good to pick up, I will say. There's another backpack up here I can grab. Might be worth to um, use more items. I probably should be using more items in my playthrough, honestly. Be a little more aggressive about item usage. Uh, what does this do? When a card bearing still played, you will receive a random item as long as your pack's not full. Okay, I should be using stuff in my pack. Okay. I've been kind of safe with that. A little too safe. Uh, I can kind of go hard here. The Sparrow, Coyote. I actually have a crazy play here, I feel like. Correct? Kind of. Um, look, I go squirrel here. Sacrifice that for goat here. Um, pop this squirrel. Do I place it? Becomes an, another question. Don't know if I do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sacrifice. I'm gonna have three death tokens. I think if I thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, let's do this. Sacrifice this. Place this here. Cause he's got what's the comp? What's the card? Two one up there. Yeah, I want to place that there for a two two. I think was that kind of a mistake? That might have been a small. What does this do? Will immediately gain four bones. Ooh, if I wanted to, I could go super aggressive then and uh. Ooh. Is there any reason to play the squirrel now? I, I literally don't think so. Cockroach, I think I'm fine to just go combat here. Do two damage. I kind of, it kind of sucks. I feel like he's actually gonna kill this pack rat. That was kind of a bad play then. Fuck. That was kind of stupid by me. What are you gonna do? Rapid, what does this do? What does this card do? I don't understand. I wish they would explain this. I, I really don't understand what this card does. I actually have no idea. Is it just like a defense unit? I don't like that at all. Um, Skunk. Lose one power. It's a, that's like a that's like an offensive tank. Annoyance. Um, I hate this pelt thing, dude. What the fuck? Okay. Um, this is kind of awkward. Do I grab my boulder now? Did I save that? I think I'm fine taking some more damage. This is actually so awkward. No, I'm going to go boulder now. Place it here. So awkward. I just like pass, right? I don't have enough. This feels so awkward. He's playing so defensive. I don't really get anything. I'm going to grab this. Bullfrog. I can block with reach once this thing's down. The game is so complex. There's actually so many elements. Uh, cockroach. Oh, I have the death touch. It's death touch. Okay, that's good to know. What's my play here? I can, but I want I want the frog in this position, which is so unfortunate that it's in this weird state right now. This board state is super unfortunate for me. I'm gonna place this here. This is like a blocking. That's weird. Okay, sure. I had to stall for another turn. I just stall. Let it kill this before placing. 
grab another card. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Takes two. Let me see the effects of this card. It's this. It's stinky. No, no, no. I don't want to play so it's chill. Um. Building up your hand state is way more important than I realized. I feel like it's actually worth it to just stall and wait. So now I go squirrel, I think, here. I go squirrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, go, I think this is right. I go squirrel into sacrifice squirrel to put bullfrog here. Into now I have four of these. And I can go cockroach to one shot the boulder, I think. If that works like that, I think it should. Uh, let me just let that play out. That's fine. We can all that. Grab all this. Uh, grab another card. Woof. Okay, it's better. This will kill this. Health is a pain. I sacrifice the. I don't think I can even sacrifice. It. Also, the cockroach doesn't one shot the boulder. The terrain. Oh, it's so annoying. That's what I was kind of worried about. Hilariously, I can use the stink bug if I had... I do have two bones. Okay, I can use the stink bug to actually KO that then. That's good. This de cockroach sucks here, actually. I think I just let this play out and I keep the wolf for a sec. I let this play out. I'm gonna draw another card. Why not? Ant Queen. Bar is two. Sacrifice. This is zero, two. Do, do, do. I think I just go for the wolf play now. This card, this <laughs> cockroach sucks. <laughs> being in this position, not the card. It being in this position was so bad by me. What are those little blood drops? We said, oh, I see. That's the mana cost. Okay. I'm gonna, gosh, yeah. I'm gonna go for this play. It's kind of weird. Wait, what? Were you as un? Altering as the cockroach? Well, yeah, let, let me play my wolf. I was like, what the fuck? I got the cockroach back. Is that how it works? When a card bears this little parish is a copy of character. Oh, I thought it had death touch. It's unkillable. Oh. So maybe death touch does work against barricades. I just don't know yet. Um, interesting. So I should be using the cockroach as a sacrificial piece. I didn't realize that. Okay. Uh, this is all fine from here. I think I just let this play. That's pretty cool, actually. That I want that black cat card again, dude. That card was so good. I miss it. Um, what am I? I could get a squirrel. Place that, and then sacrifice these two for Ant Queen. I don't know if the Ant Queen's good at all. Worker Ant. But I have nothing to really sacrifice. I don't want to do that. I don't have enough bones there. I think I should have combat. The Stonk is just sitting there doing nothing. That's fine. Is that KOing him? Okay, he's dead. See you later, mate. What is this? I don't know if I've ever seen this symbol on the map before. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this. You encountered a small outpost in the woods, tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that old trapper had mentioned. His appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your pelts. What can I offer? I trade you one of these. Yes, please. I hate these pelts. Okay, so now I see the benefit. Dude, the black cat is so good. What's the... Is this like... Is this like a... What's it called? What's it called? Uh, what am I thinking of in Magic the Gathering? Land walking? Wa it's like the... Uh, oh man, why can't I think of this? Island walking or whatever? What is this guy, Mole? I want to read them. I don't know if I can read the effects. I think I just grabbed the cat. I really like the cat card, dude. That cat card seems insane. That's just from a noob's perspective. Uh, I'm going to go campfire. I think it's an upgrade, right? The the boss, the prospector boss is coming up. Power. Okay, I'm gonna try to increase a card's power. This is worth it. Uh, increase a card's power. Increasing the cockroach's power could be super good, because then you're able to constantly get it back over. That's pretty cool. What does this thing do? The carbon is supposed to be struck. Its tail straight in place. Carbon is still moves to the right. Okay, it's like positioning. Uh, I'm going to go for the cockroach play, I think. Yeah, I think giving this thing a 2-1. Also, if I lose it, it's not the way. Yeah, this is actually really good. Then I get multiple 2-1s. Permanent 2-1s as long as I have the uh, the bone tokens to be able... And I still have the piggy thing in the back. 
Overcome them or die. If you're not. Okay. The smoke. I want to beat my first boss, dude. Can I beat my first boss on my second attempt? The first attempt, it felt so hard. The clank clanking. The path. It's, it's going to be the prospector again. The prospector. Okay, I really want to beat my first boss, dude. What's he got? Pack Mule and Coyote. So I have to watch out for that ability of his where he turns everything into gold because that shit is super cringe. What does this do? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Um, when a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. That's so good, actually. Um, then he's got Coyote and Pack Mule. Uh, I don't want to overplay my hands here. I do actually want to develop cards for sure. Does it require anything? I think I just go this. I think I just build resources. Um, that's fine there. And then I could go at scroll the bullfrog. I just don't have to. There's just no reason to overplay my hand pretty much. Unless I want to do damage to him. Um, I feel like keeping your hand could actually be OP in this game. We'll see. Coyote plays. We get the bones. Is it my turn? Oh, I probably grab Squirrel here, right? Actually kind of tough. It's actually kind of tough. Um, Coyote, Coyote. Yeah, I think I grab Squirrel. I think I play Squirrel, Squirrel, Pack Rat. Here, kill his Coyote. Get an extra thing, that's good. I wish I had the scissors to cut up this boulder. Doesn't block my board state. Uh, then I'll let combat play out. Kill the coyote. I don't know if this if it matters to kill his pack mule. Uh, he's killing the boulder. I, I want him to kill my boulder. That's actually totally fine. I think I just draw. I draw something here just to stall. I just draw this, I guess. What does this do again? Stink. When a card bearing the sigil will be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Oh, it like multiplies? Oh, that's actually... Wait, is that how that works? That seems insane, if so. Uh, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna keep card advantage. I have so many uh, death units as well. Death mana or whatever. Oh, I'm gonna grab a squirrel here. I think it's worth it. I'm terrified of his mining ability. But I'm playing a little too slow, I feel like, around it. Just doing to do damage here. I think I play scroll. I think I summon out like either the stink or the bullfrog. All right, I'm thinking a little slow here. I could also use this to get some damage off on him to be able to chip. I want to be able to just chip him down. I almost just want to keep this here. This seems really silly, but I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna sit. I'm playing this really, really, really passive, but I think it's worth it. Squirrel or draw. I go for the draw. Look at the cat. The cat is so good. Do I save that for phase two? I feel like I have to, right? Surely. The cat feels ridiculous. Um. I think I play squirrel. One of these is stink or bullfrog. I don't want the stink effect right now. I don't want to. I'm going to go bullfrog, actually, I think. Sacrifice squirrel to place that here to kill this coyote. And then do I want to do, do I need to do this? Do I do I think I am going to go ahead and do this. I think it removes one HP for me. Uh, yeah, it heals me one, deals one damage to him. You don't have to do very much damage to win the game, though, is the weird thing. I don't know how much damage you have to do, though. Is it like five? Maybe I'm going for board control too much. You don't need to do that much damage to win. I'm probably playing too, uh, like, board control. I don't, I don't know how many teeth you need to win. Mole, what does this thing do? When empty space will be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space and receive the strike instead. It's a huge tank. Okay. I have to just get rid of this coyote then, and I'm fine. I'm safe. Uh, I think I just go squirrel here, I guess. Not looking forward to this gold strike ability. Um, can I just go for the W here? Man, like, I, I don't know how much HP 
I don't know how much HP you need to do to him. Like, that's the question. I can't even tell how many teeth he's taken of damage. Like, part of me wants to just pass here and just do damage. But I don't want to die either. I'm going to play the safer play since I don't know. It's like a long time to get back to this point. I'm going to make the safer play and do this. I'm going to go to combat like this. Okay, this is fine. Uh, I'm going to grab... Oof. I'm going to draw, I guess. Okay, I need to think here because what's going to happen is he's going to gold strike everything. I think the play here is to like sacrifice a bunch of this on the board. If possible. Like, sacrificing two here for one is better to keep my board's slot. But, oh no, is it really? <laughs> I don't know. Do I really even end here? I probably don't, right? I think I just draw and go combat. That's fine. What does this do? Oh my god, that's broken! Oh, wait! Grabbing the mule is OP! Wait, that's actually crazy. Um, grabbing the mule is so good. So now I just draw. Prospector boss, again. I know I gotta beat him, okay? Don't- Hey, <laughs> come on, I know you're dicking on me. Um... I gotta just sacrifice everything for the snapper. I sacrifice this and this. I want less cards in the field. That's a okay. I didn't realize how unbelievably good killing the pack mule was. I think I win this for sure now. I think you have to just play this like hyper slow. I'm going to get him to phase one. Yeah. Okay. Now phase two. Okay. There's gold in them cards. Yep. Do the dumb thing. That shit's this shit is so annoying. At least you get the bones from it. Okay. Now I have so many resources in my hand. I just hard win. I feel like. Uh, do I ever need to, like, do anything crazy? I got I a squirrel or some shit? I don't know what I even grab here. Uh, I have so many resources. This is so easy, I feel like, now. Which is hilarious. Um, I have so much mana. Literally the most annoying thing here is just lacking board space. What is this? You one flyer. What do I want on the board the most? Probably the cockroach, honestly. The ants gets really good, though, right? Let's go, um... Let's do a... Do I need to do a black coat here? I, why not, I guess. I'd rather keep... I guess I'd rather go ahead and do that. Uh, use that to get the blood. For the ant queen. We get a worker ant. How does this work? Oh, yeah. And that thing gains more power for how many on the... I like that play. I like, uh... So I like going squirrel here. I should go, oh no, I don't want the cat on the field right now actually to take, uh, yeah, so I do this into, into, into ants. Okay, this is good. And then two, okay, I like this, I like this play. Establishing a proper board state, I want him to take care of these gold things for me. That's so good, thank you, thank you. You're just helping me out in that situation. I do wanna grab a squirrel here, I think. I don't know if that was really relevant. This thing has three. I don't know if I can kill this thing, hilariously. With it having three memers uh, i just know cockroach though i have plenty of bones ridiculous amounts uh this is fine we just do damage let the cockroach die and just play infinite cockroaches oh or we just win the game okay that was so much better once again my my one critique i guess i don't like that with this prospector boss if you don't play around that stupid gold nugget mechanic you just lose but if you play around the gold nugget mechanic you like hard win um Defeat the Prospector. How many people have achieved this? 92%? Oh my god, people love this game. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted the opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Keep in mind... Sorry, I need to go over this. Keep in mind that generally... The, the stats on this, you guys can't see the, the stats on screen, but 92.3% of players have achieved the achievement of defeating the Prospector. And I've been playing this game for 73... Or no, sorry, 92 minutes. So an hour and a half to be able to get to that point, right? Now, there's plenty of stats on this where, like, six, I believe it's, like, 60% of players quit a new video game within the first hour. So, if you're, if 92% of people are making it to an hour and a half into your game, that is truly exceptional. Like, I can't, I can't overstate how exceptional that is. Um, the mole man, what does this do? Oh, my God, what did I just do? I just scrolled up. Agrat, Gek, Mole Man. I kind of like the Gek. I don't really know. I don't know if I super understood. The Gek um, seemed to have like a squirrel that has one 
hour? Carry onward. Okay. I'll try my best. Hmm. Didn't expect to be... Okay, we're in phase two. The rank smell of rot and mold preheated the humid air. Preheated? Or premiated? I may have read it wrong. Every step forward was answered by some slip or slather. <laughs> slather is a crazy word. Okay. First time being on phase two here, a strange beast lurked within. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn for your deck. You know what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna blue ball you guys, okay? I'm actually gonna save this for the next episode. So if you want to see the continuation of this, check out episode three of Inscription. Uh this game has been incredible. It's been a ton of ton of ton of ton of fun. But I think I think keeping my first prospector win contained into one episode i think is important so hopefully you guys have enjoyed like this video if you have enjoyed it dislike if not subscribe to the channel for videos every other day and that's it for me retro pat i will see you guys later peace arena